Hey guys, I'm here today to show you a pretty easy and pretty fun uh, nether village build in Minecraft. Um, this is safe for SMP servers. Um, that is to say, the exploding beds are kept well out of the reach of anyone who isn't supposed to be there. Um, additionally, it's been spawn-proofed to prevent mobs from spawning where they shouldn't. It's reasonably compact, as you can see here, it's only one chunk, plus one, two, three, four blocks, that's all the space you need to clear out, um, is one chunk, plus four blocks in every direction, 12 blocks tall. Um, I built two wings of it already, uh, just to show you some of the variants that you can do. You can add some decorative uh, stalactites for filling your lava cauldrons. Um, you can build some themed low-density housing. You can build some economical high-density housing. If you're a member of the so-called villager rights movement, you can even give every villager seven squares of indoor space for their own and still fit a ton of villagers into each wing of this. As you can see, there's just a ton of housing here and it's all to spec. Everyone gets seven squares to walk around free, which is one more than the villager rights document recommends. Uh, so the materials you'll need are all listed here on screen. I recommend just slapping that screenshot key. And uh, let's get started. Um, so the first thing you'll want to do, I actually recommend starting with, is the stairs. Um, so you've got your area that you've cleared out. It's five deep, twelve tall by one chunk wide. Um, all you're going to want to do is start in the back corner, go to the left by one, place a stair. And I recommend just placing all six of the stairs right this, uh, right now. Just do it right away. Uh, then the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and just build out these, uh... Go ahead and just build out the floor. Um, now if you'll notice, the way I've got this design set up is... Each floor is five deep, so that's four space plus one boundary, and I've got all the boundary um, pushed, sort of pushed into the central chunk. Um, you don't have to do yours like that, you could have yours actually sticking out five. Um, just make sure that when you're building this layer, you build it fully five deep. So that'll be the uh, row with the stairs, plus four more. And uh, give yourself enough space that you can actually walk up the stairs, don't, uh, don't shut the stairs off. Uh, not much to see here, so I'll just skip the building of this floor. Uh, once your floor is built, go ahead and cover it in carpet. Uh, don't cover the front row. Clear up three here. Um, then come in. So we got one, two, three, four, five. And pillar up three again. One, two, three. Um, this will form... Uh, go two, two more over. One, two... This will form the, the structure that you can see on the far side. Um, remember to cover the entire indoor area with carpet. Uh, that's for a number of reasons. It will prevent hostiles from spawning. It will also prevent um, iron golems from spawning in here where they're just going to be useless. They're not going to keep the spawn area safe. They're not going to kill mobs. And they're going to be hard to track down if you decide to harvest them for iron. So um, there's absolutely nothing good that can happen from not putting carpet in here, so you're just going to want to go ahead and do that. Uh, when you're laying the carpet layer, leave one square empty here. Um, it could be cargo colting, but I swear it helps with pathfinding. Um, for the stairs, take a normal full-size block, put it at the bottom layer, and then put your wall there. Um, if you put a wall at this spot here, it actually can confuse the... Uh, Baby villagers pathfinding will just get stuck in there for a while, and it's very sad to watch. Um, now that we've got this first floor kind of built, before you lay the glass layer, I recommend actually, so we got this five wide gap here, the second to inside square, replace that with some glowstone. Uh, also, if you're going to go with a tinted glass bottom layer like I have, um, You'll want to also make sure to replace this 
uh, brick there with some stairs. Um, that way the light can actually seep up and illuminate the indoors. Uh, then as for the actual lane of this glass, there's not much to say. I just recommend putting a uh, tinted glass layer at the bottom to give them to give the villagers some uh, privacy so that the uh, people in the nether spawn hub uh, don't watch them sleep. <laughs> it's purely up to taste, though. You can decorate this however you want. Um, I only recommend making sure you put something so they don't fall out and get hurt because uh, Mojang's pathfinding AI is still not very good. Uh, the only thing that I will warn you is... As you can see, this is a two-story um, thing. You got the floor two and floor three and floor ones for business. Uh, I absolutely do not recommend building any higher than this because the current height already is pushing the limits of the villagers' pathfinding. And if you build as it stands, uh, the villagers don't have full pathfinding access to it if they're on the wrong side of the courtyard. And that can interfere with their ability to uh, breed, because they might the bed the beds can be too far away. Um, so the the current density this this density of, of three floors and no more than a chunk apart it does work, but it's it's pushing it. You you definitely shouldn't make your uh, villagers any bigger than this. Uh, and like I said, it's a semi modular design, so um. You know, with the number of wings that we've added, that's one wing, two wing, three wing. We already have just so many villagers. If you add a fourth wing to this, that's really all... That, that should be able to accommodate all the villagers you could reasonably uh, need. Um, for this little hole right here in the middle, um, you could just fill it in, but I like to build something decorative here. Um, a very, very simple solution to keep them safe is just two walls. Two flower pots, two flowers, and two lanterns. And bada bing, it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, for this second story, there's not much to say. You just build it up like the first. I'll go ahead and skip it as well. Nobody wants to watch me place bricks. Uh, one thing to watch out for is make sure that there aren't any gaps that are big enough to take fall damage, because if you can take fall damage, the villagers can take fall damage, and uh, they will take fall damage again, because Mojang's pathfinding AI isn't very good. So just be sure to give these kind of some DIY safety checks. Just run, run, them, run them yourself and make sure there's nowhere that you can fall. Uh, again, remember to go ahead and pillar up three just at the first inside square of this chunk. And then once again with a five square gap between the pillars, then a two square gap. Oh, and when you're placing the glowstone, we place the first floor right on this square. I recommend go ahead and mixing up the locations of the glowstone just to add some uh, visual interest. You know, there's no sense in having it just look like one boring monolithic column, you know. Um, so what I like to do is I put the, the first story here, second story is here, and then for the third story I'll go ahead and put it just right there in the uh, in the middle. And that tends to work uh, pretty well in my opinion. Tends to look pretty well. Um, obviously just do it up however you think looks cool. This is your village that you're building for your world. Uh, and don't forget to, you know, add a uh, material roof of some kind. Um, you don't have to do it. I think it just looks a lot better if you do so. Uh, and again, do remember to put stairs behind each of the glowstones so that the light can actually show in. And if you look at the bottom half of the block when you're placing it, uh, you won't be able to actually see that it's a stair, but it will let more light in. Now for the second story, my original design just had it look exactly like the first story, but one of the problems is the villagers, again, common theme of this video, the villagers pathfinding kind of sucks, and one of the problems that can arise is all the villagers going up into one apartment and then not being able to go to sleep because there aren't any beds, and they can't pathfind all the way down the stairs, across the courtyard, and up into another one. 
Um, so if you at the second story, you just kind of short circuit their pathfinding by giving them a, another uh, another way to cross here. Uh, it can help a lot when it comes to them just finding their their way to uh, sleep. And I absolutely recommend putting some fencing here because you know you never know if they're just going to get shoved off. You know, it's very easy for them to shove each other off. Now, as tempting as it is to put an extra piece right there to make it look more secure, don't actually do that because this will let them ramp up and jump off. Um, so, it looks nice, but don't actually do that. And again, don't forget to lay down the carpet everywhere except for one square next to this uh except for one square next to the entrance um that'll encourage them to go all the way instead of you know i'm sure every one of us has seen at some point the villagers you know failing to jump failing to jump well this this little extra pixel can sometimes discourage them from that and make them actually walk uh, all the way around so remember to include that Uh, and don't forget some little lanterns at the entrance here, just to look nice and light the place up a, a bit better. And, uh, and voila. There we have it. Um, obviously you're going to need to add the, the beds in at some point. But, this is everything you need to create a basic apartment-style nether village. Um, it can hold a crazy amount of villagers. Uh, it supports pretty much every workflow. It's very, very safe. Because if you have got a mischievous player or someone who's clumsy or whatever, you have to be very, very intentional about going all the way back here, up these red stairs, before you even have access to the beds to destroy stuff. So, um, there's very little possibility for accidental nuclear explosions. Um, if anybody's gonna, gonna terrorize this or destroy it or make it all explode, it's gonna be very much... Uh, on purpose. Now this works indoors, but there's also absolutely nothing stopping it from being, you know, a fully uh, exposed village. You know, if if you take all this netherrack here and you replace it with glass, uh, this could be just overlooking any kind of fantastic views that you wanted. Uh, so anyway, I hope this build guide helps. Um, again, skip to the start of the video uh, or the ingredients list. Hope you all enjoy.